Good morning. Good Monday morning. How is everybody this morning? I hope everybody is doing amazing, doing well. Um, I'm just getting ready to uh, have a wisdom coaching session. So I'm just um, in between uh, that time and the time for this person to come over and get their coaching. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk this morning about something I wrote. Something that I'm noticing through the note news feed that um, people are struggling with. So I feel um, <clears throat> spiritually moved to talk about um, wallowing in the heartbreak. Let me just say this. You know, um, I spent probably a good two and a half years wallowing in a heartbreak that just took a lot um, just from my own piece, it took a lot from, um, my decision making. It just was really, um, sad, very sad situation. Um, but I, I learned a lot through going through that. I feel like, um, my journey and my purpose is what it is, but I also believe that in my own struggle and my own personal understanding about heartbreak <laughs> just because I went through my own uh heartbreaks um I feel like I can help a lot of people dealing with the hurt of them you know um people have struggled just trying to move forward after someone that they care about or that they really thought that was going to go the long haul with them um and it doesn't happen for whatever reason sometimes you know we're just we just outgrow each other sometimes we find out that there's some things about ourselves that evolve or that you know um inspires us that now we change and that's a part of the journey <clears throat> i feel like sometimes we don't really realize that when we get involved in relationships um the person we we come in contact with and begin to build a fondness for and then um, bridge a relationship with. A lot of times we see that person as being who they are today to be the same person throughout that entire relationship, that they're never going to change, that they're going to remain the same. And I feel like one of the greatest misconceptions is that once you're in a relationship with somebody, you are one <laughs> and i and i want to i want to talk about why um it it really is a falsification of the truth um in relationships you are not one you have your individual thoughts heart mind past things that you want to do purpose and all of those things and the person that you're with has the same but we believe that once we get involved or once we mesh lives or once we mesh hearts that we're now going to be one. And that's, that's very false. Um, <laughs> we're different, you know, um, even down to how we love each other. We're going to love differently. We're going to understand differently. We're going to have different pasts. Um, prime example is when you are in a scenario for instance just say that you and your sibling was raised in the same family but you both have a different perspective or a different experience in the same household that is the same in relationships even though we have it we are in the under the same roof we have the same um you know desires for each other it doesn't necessarily mean that because we have that joint um, desire for each other that nothing else outside of that is going to happen or impact that. So I wanted to bring this up because I don't think a lot of us really look at relationships realistically. We look at them as, well, you know, I'm in love, they're in love with me, and now we're one. But that's really not, not how this works. Uh, and then I feel like right now there's a lot of people struggling with 
the heartbreaks. Um, they're in their heartbreak way too long. Um, they're finding themselves engulfed in the so-called violations or so-called changes that their partner made that they don't find appealing or don't agree with. And unfortunately, the reality is no matter what relationship you're in, you're going to have some of that regardless, even if you stay together or not. So the reality is we're going to change, we're going to evolve, we're going to do things differently as we proceed in life. And we also develop in our own right, just, I mean, and we, we don't even know what we're going to change into. Um, and so I think the prime thing about it is when we don't sit down and really get honest with self, we really don't realize that, man, I can make these changes. I can do some things differently and I can feel like um, I am going to always be the way I am today. But to be honest with you, you're not. You're going to change as well. So I just want to give some real um, harsh truths to those that's struggling with, you know, a heartbreak. Uh, you're still wallowing in what happened, um, how upset you are that the person you thought they were are not who they are. Just understand, um, give, the, give yourself time to understand that we will all change. Nothing's going to remain the same. I don't care. Even if you think you're going to remain the same, you are not. Um, one great thing that I've noticed when I when I've watched um, a, a couple that I admire, um, he spoke about his wife changing different, changing into different women through the years. So basically, she's got into this, and then she got into that, and then she changed into this, and she's changed into her taste and her passions and what she wants to do through the different years of, of, of their relationship. And he just said, well, you know, in those changes, I learned to love her through them. And I think that is more realistic than assuming the person that's standing before me that has these likes, these desires, these habits, these patterns is going to remain in these habitual patterns and, and styles. Things are going to change. So we have to understand that in relationships, we're going to evolve and change and we're going to develop into a different version of ourselves that we don't even know. Um, that's the, that's the key factor is that there's times when we will evolve into a person that we didn't even know we were going to become. And so with that said, it is important that we understand that about self so that we can also be more open and, um, willing to accept someone in their evolutions and in their changes as well. When we do that, we find out that long term relationships will change and evolve and we will no longer get all caught up in what we don't have. Here's the thing. When you wallow in your um, sadness with, with um, heartbreak, what happens is you're, you're starting to cut off your joy in life because you're spending a lot of time on something that is over and done with and you're wallowing because you feel really chained to the what was and the reality is since it is over and you know it's over and you're not going to go back to that person because you don't like what you know came to to be you should now start to detach your energy, your conversation, your post, your your conversations and your energy on what it was, what he did, what she did, how it was, why you're not why you're still upset and begin to change your conversations. The reason I say that is when you start to find yourself constantly talking about your past, what went on in that relationship and what it was, you'll find out that it's taking a lot of energy from what it is right now. And you are going to be bombarding yourself with sadness and grief. And, 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 and you really cannot evolve out of that because you're continuing to give energy to something that you know isn't going to change. You know it's over, so let it go. Um, the reason I say wallowing in it, it, it just really, not only does it cause sadness in your soul, it can also inspire 
your depression. It can also inspire your, your you know, you being grief stricken and not able to focus on anything else, not able to go to work and feel fulfilled, not able to parent, not able to, you know, do any of your other duties because you're so caught up in your sadness and grief with what it, what it was and what you no longer have. Here's the thing. When we sit down and we really pay attention to our love affairs and we understand that in them, there's going to be times where we're disappointed or that person's not going to do what we want them to do. We learn that I need to stop expecting so much from someone else and start wasting more of my energy and, 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 and more of my time in what I can control, which is me. I can control myself. I can control my emotions. I can control what I'm doing and be more concerned with that. And then allow your lover to have the same control of themselves. And that helps you to now get away from constantly trying to control, constantly trying to, trying to understand how you can change them. Because you can't. What they do is what they do. It's on them. So in order to walk away from wallowing in, in the sadness and wallowing in the heartbreak, you must really get serious elevating out of it and 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 again a part of the smile mantra is study not a part of it the whole uh, smile mantra stands for smile stands for study meditate inspire laugh and elevate so e i'm talking about today which is elevating out of something elevation away from this pain and wallowing requires for you to now change and recycle your energy your conversation your thoughts away from what it was and what what you don't have to now being more inspired on what I can what can I do today to make one step closer to my freedom away from this whole scenario every day we can make a decision that we are no longer going to be chained to this heartbreak we have to make that decision it has to be a conscious decision that I'm no longer going to spend another hour another minute another second on how I was hurt, how I was pained, how he did this, how she did that, and get beyond it and decide, okay, this is what I'm going to do to make sure that I can now move forward in my life. And now here's the other thing. Understand that once you get involved with someone else again, that you now take this understanding of wallowing in a heartbreak to your next part of your, your relation to a new relationship understanding that you don't have to do that you don't have to feel like oh my god this relationship caused me this and caused me that no it's just that the relationship is over and you're still holding on to what it was and when you get to this point of saying i'm not going to any longer be consumed with this and i'm going to now convert my energy to something i've never done before it changes everything what I mean by how it changes everything is you can actually decide I'm not going to spend another minute on this particular scenario again and when you make that decision I'm not doing this anymore I'm finished with it I'm done with it I've had enough of it and you decide that and you really get serious about it you can move forward and you don't even have to even waste another minute or moment on what it was, what you didn't get, and how upset you are about what happened. This way, it now helps you to get a newfound energy in life. Because reality is, real reality is that we can't control someone else, no matter what. We can't make someone care about us exactly the same way that we care about them. That's unrealistic. Again, like I said before, you have to realize that the way you care about someone, the way you love someone, the way you handle how you focus on someone in a relationship is yours, is what you control. But what someone else does in return or reciprocal to that for you is completely not in your control, it's out of your control. So therefore, you should just be welcoming of what they provide to you. And this way, my loves, you will find out, wow, I'm loving more freely. I'm loving without restraints. I'm loving without feeling like I have to monitor someone else's actions or what they're doing, what they're not doing. And you'll find that 
in that release of allowing someone to be who they are and develop into who they're going to be, you, you're going to find like, oh my God, like I'm really starting to have more fulfilling relationships. I'm really starting to have more gratification within my relationship. So now, because of that, I'm having more joy in them. So if you're needing assistance with trying to get over something, trying to just basically wean off the heartbreak, <laughs> get out of your wallowing of it, inbox me or text my, my 800 number, which is 844-594-7366. Or if you don't have time to write that down, just remember 844-5WISDOM and just text me, hashtag, I want to smile. And that way I'll know, okay, let me give you the information on how to get coached, on how to move on from a heartbreak. It can be done. You don't have to sit in this wallowing this long. You can let it go and you can release yourself. Because to be honest with you, as long as you're wallowing in it, you're, you're constantly talking about it, you're still upset, you're still writing posts and, and talking about it and... As, as long as you're consumed with it, I guarantee you, you are going to be hindered from having anything new in your life. And I'm not talking about a new relationship either. I'm just saying anything new to be excited about again. You're not going to have that because you're hindering so much or energizing so much energy in what you don't have. And this, my love, is what's holding you back from having something more fulfilling. And it's not always relationships that can fulfill you. Sometimes it's something you, a new talent. Sometimes it's a new purpose. Sometimes it's a new association. Sometimes it's just a new environment. Sometimes we got to get out of our routine. Sometimes we got to go out of town and just drive, take you a one tank trip and go away from just constantly being overly consumed with what it was because it is going to cost, cost you the time. You know, these minutes and stuff, we can't get them back. So as long as you spend all that time frustrated, sad, and and and, and wallowing in, in what, what you don't have, I'm telling you now, you're going to feel miserable long term, okay? So let me get to my coaching session, but again, I really hope that I help somebody today. Hashtag, I want to smile at 844-594-7366 for help. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best cap.